Welcome to the heart of show business. Maeve Quillen is an Irish American actress starring in over 40 feature films, television series, and movies of the week, earning critical acclaim for her depth, range, and versatility, whether it's drama or comedy. In feature films, Maeve is best known for her stunning performances in Not Easily Broken, opposite Taraji P. Henson of Empire fame. And she's also known for impressive roles in feature films such as Francis Ford Coppola's The Florentine, Larry Clark's Edge Independent Ken Park, and also chameleon-like performance in Dirty Girl as Tim McGraw's wife. On the lighter side of her feature career, she has also starred opposite singer Michael Bublé in the romantic comedy Totally Blonde, And she also has a love of holiday movies that has quickly made that a favorite genre for the actress, starring Thomas C. Howell and Jonathan Silverman in A Magic Christmas. Now, not to rest on her laurels, Quinlan entered the world of creating, writing, and producing, and she was one of the first pioneers of stream content with her huge hit comedy, Three Way, which streamed on Hulu, YouTube, and now can be seen exclusively on Telefilms. Alexia, I am so honored to be your first guest. So thank you so much for inviting me on. Tell me a little bit, what is the process of an audition? Like, how did you feel when you walked into a room of a casting director and you had to go in and basically audition for a part? Now, when you come to Hollywood, it's still daunting. But I think it is a little bit more, I shouldn't say easier, but you've got a lot of things that you can use. But the one thing that remains the same is the question, sorry to go off on that, but the one thing that remains the same is when you get in that room, are you prepared? Have you, are you so nervous that that's overtaking your performance? And when I say, are you prepared? Have you done the work for that moment? Not just that audition, like, have you been People don't even do plays anymore as far as young actors do, or, you know, it's not as important any longer because you can do, oh gosh, I mean, so many, you know, web series or make your own, whatever, it doesn't matter, whatever you can do, study, 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 get seen, get your work seen. And when you walk into that room with that casting director, you're going to have to initially overcome those nerves. And I'll tell you something, I stunk up a bunch of rooms. Like that's literally what my agent told me when I first came, because I was telling you, I was a shy girl and I would let the nerves get the best of me. And then I would get in their heads of, instead of being in the groove and in the moment and in the zone, I was thinking, what do they want me to be? So I get the role. Mm. So the greatest advice I can give you is from my acting teacher that I worked with for years and years and years, Ivana Chubbuck. And she has, oh my God, Halle Berry, Charlize Theron. I mean, she's coached them all. And the greatest advice she really gave was take the word audition out of your vocabulary. I don't want to hear it. You're not going for an audition tomorrow. You're going to do your performance. That little sentence there changed everything for me because it encapsulates everything when you walk into that room that's about to happen. So there's only one Alexia, right? There's only one Maeve. We're both going to do that role differently. And of course, they're going to have a type that they want. And there's seven different ideas of what they want, you know, for the role. You can't control any of that. You can't control the way you look. You can't control if they decide you're not right for the part. But what you can control is the performance you're about to do in that time frame. So the first thing is, oh my God, learn those lines like you've never learned anything like it in your life. I mean, be able to recite it like it's a pledge of allegiance to the fight of the United States. Like you can do it <laughs> upside down because that once you have those words, a lot of times people get, and these are tremendous actors. We talk about it all the time. Like I love auditioning now, but at the beginning, I hated it. I have friends that are incredible actors way, way, way ahead of me who are like, I I can't audition. I suck at auditioning. And because the nerves get, you know, ahead of you, I mean, get the best of you. Yeah. First of all, be off book, hold that piece of paper, hold that script in your hand. It makes them nervous if you're not, but be off book completely. 
give yourself the knowledge, like you're not going to flub a line. Guess what? If you do hold it, don't freak out. Either stop it right then and there. Sorry, may I begin again or improvise your way out of it. You walk into that room, you own that space. It's your time. Don't rush. Don't be in their heads. Be in your own until the performance begins. And then you're in a zone and get out of your head. Let it rip. Wow, Maeve. This is like a masterclass in acting, I have to tell you. It's such amazing wisdom and practical advice that you just dropped here on this mic. I think it's amazing. 